Hello everybody and welcome to 60 Parsecs. Um I already started the game, but I decided to start recording because it's a really fun game. Alright, and so it's kinda like it's made by the same people who made 60 seconds. You pretty much do the same thing. Alright. It, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just space. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one even one can could be the difference between life and death. That's why it's important to keep good inventory of your stock unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, ha, that was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot. But I have a good feeling about this crew captain. Oh. Alright, this guy's doing it, so... He's probably the best guy. Day 5. If, if you want to see more of this game, and you want to see it, me play it from the beginning, I kind of just figured I'd record, because... I mean, whatever. Because... I don't really know what people want to see on my channel. I don't get a lot of comments, so I just record whatever. And, you know, I feel like it, so I'm gonna play this through a little bit. And if you want to see more, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because, you know, like, I always could use some more subscribers. That's, that's what I'm saying. If you enjoy the videos, of course, if you don't, hit the dislike button, and why are you still watching? But, right through the video. Alright, the routine supply check is not complete, and it does not compute, an error was made. That's what I get for trusting humans to do math. So the supplies went missing, those soup cans is 11. If you want to read the rest of that, you can pause the video, I'm not really going to read everything. Sure, you can pursue an Astro Citizen promotional materials when bored, but no, don't put that on. Captain, you have initiated the Weight Observer 1000 on your wrist. It's just a marketing gadget, cracked and defective. When you look at yourself now, you see a bulky bulldog. It's supposed to motivate you to lose weight. Stop scratching your ear, or at least take your shoe off first. I do something about this. This shit needs a captain. Tape? Tape should fix the problem. And it's, it's still day five, so let's change that. Let's make it day six. There's a little bit of a surprise there. Yeah, whatever that is. Something, something bro. We find a small metal box in one of the cars labeled to search do open. You can take apart the lock to gather some elements from it, ignore unless it's high, but you can try to open it. To require deft fingers with gloves. I guess we're going to open it. We'll try to at least. Typically, the box locks did not pay off. You should hear the same for a tampering mechanism and heard a breaking sound with them. Oof. Oh! One of the boys is starving. Okay. We should probably get some food then. Uh, I need my um, solar fair. And I'm just gonna get up Wait. And day, day eight. Day eight, um, alright, first contact. Captain, you see this? I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity. Human a made AI like. We're not alone in this universe. The signals were intercepted. We're finally decrypted. They're alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I don't mean the reds. It's something we've never seen before. There is some a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. Signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume that we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. Alright. What is good?
Alright, everybody still needs food except for me. I accidentally made them go too long before, so I feel bad. Last night I was about to see some science for the machines in the room. And while I now pay attention, I found a food dispensing machine on board. I'll show this. I just need a program to recruit this one. I was just missing a lever, but a part of night seems functional. Day nine. Okay, we got a we got a super lot. And we don't have enough resources to make soup. Captain, we're entering a field of cosmic gas. He's holding out the snow of brushes he said. Let's get this guy to do it. He's smart. He knows how to do the smart things. Because my gas leak has been contained, your ongoing exposure could result again. Maybe best you don't know. It's important is that you've isolated enough of the gas for us to network into useful chemicals. Smart. Alright. Now we can make soup. This power can be dull, but there's still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. You game will need a coin camp. Oh, the lighter. Okay. You designed your game around the lighter, the coin mechanic of the game was chased the crew around the shore of the person you were chasing up burned. They owe you 10 push ups. Okay. Scary. To flush the point, perhaps you must spend the torque shaft at least 98 beats per minute for its seconds. They both have a good one. They could do it. Yep. Day 12. It will join to the opportunity to flush out the mini reactor's coolant pipe. She went to the extra one, optimizing the coolant flow. If we spotted a crack in one of the mini reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation, good thing they found that captain. Right. And a couple of rusted swollen canes of soup and a duck's car on ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago and I completely forgot about them. It doesn't look all that safe to eat, but it's say canned soup. Yes, keep the cans. Repairs about. The ancient soup you found gave you pause and no wonder it looks older than this ship. Yeah, here it is. Who could have left it there then again? Who cares? Free soup. Indeed. Sir, a wild sight has cropped up on my scanners. A dark, swirly sky planet is dead ahead. It's a giant storm, but beneath dark squirrels make hazy and sink heat signatures. No to do structures. The thunder swirl is probably a movement over the moon. Yep. Go for it. Alright, we're gonna go land on this planet so we don't all die. Did we die? Okay, we did. Good. Bonus. On our descent towards the storm the planet, create Tyson piped up and said he recognized the storm below. Looks like our predictions for Earth after Soviet nuclear attack said with a pause. But with you in command, sir, we can alter anything. With Thomas on mind, you briefly directed our craft away from the particularly green parts of the atmosphere and went to the safe resting spot on it. But, okay, so we don't have the communicator anymore. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the communicator anymore. Repair the tape. What do you repair tape with? That's my question. You're like a handheld communicator, effectively stops you from fixing the communication console. Too bad we remain stuck here with no way to contact the outside world. The situation has not improved. I urge you to connect an operational communicator to the communication console. So it's possible, Captain. Well, I would. If I had one, ooh, I can make one. Okay, good. Captain, we spotted a crewmate. The crewmate spotted a blue vein fruit growing on a crack. Out of a crack in the ground nearby, it's pulsating slightly. Yeah, 
give give the food a try. Have fun. Just don't die. They say that the proof of the ship is worth trying. Your face gladness will actually suck your teeth in before to quickly turning the horror. The others have with full a purple balloon where she began to try and spread out but fell into a spasm. Woke up minutes later saying your mind was buzzing as if at double speed. You flipped into a handstand and quickly began perambulating around. Clearly those moments did something. Let's hope the effects don't turn. You're still quite alert and you still moved. Said, but I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> this game's kind of hard to do then. Switch to the Evo soon sign up for but you missed that man's range below. All the portal flickered shot and the alien boys had a valid irritation in him. Your account was locked for one block to use this day with a thousand of us. Okay. But that's my question. Right? Send this guy out. Give him the lighter. And the mask. Alright. And see you later, Abigail. Day 19. Hello, world. Something that we need. Um, I really hope that doesn't kill me. If it does, that's unfortunate. Day 20. We sat down for the conjectures, but just went to explore it. You just follow your arms. Sort of space time effective. Let's look over with him as if it carried a charge. Could it be a small point of the system? He sat outside and looked at this possible food. The giant carol is something like this. Don't talk to the crazy carol. That something tells me that's not a good idea. Proceeded to spell words about just not discussing mercy didn't make much sense. The yeah, only blew away into a mist shortly afterwards, lying in place with a sock. Okay, that's interesting.
same way land. Like a mean suburban neighbor, we denied the little robot jumps out for its vehicle a few hours later. I heard a gurgling sound from behind the cell siphoning our tank. Unfortunately for both of us, there's nothing to drain from our already empty take. The droid realized this with a guard was finished off into the distance. Okay, we all need food, but I don't think there's enough. It's a great you come to say hey, something. I don't think it's a transmission. I think it's a whale. And then crying up here. Alright. Crafty. So it's gonna be alien and cool. What is that guy doing? We went to his house to find the early crime. It seems a weak possible injury and there's no way an emerging escape pod flying through the castle as he barred in a pop in the corner. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna recycle the artifact because we need food. Second one. That's the solution to the problem. Agility, uh oh. Okay, okay, good. Oh, we found a we found a gun and some shoot. Okay. And we both get shoot. With the tape. And next day. Day 29. A bit more you decide to help it out. You grab the duct tape and let to work. Fixing the tear. The creature started to shine. It looked risky. It looked at you as if you would. And all, if, if only I should say this in HQ could know how effectively you were spending one as a human power and vice versa the galaxy. So,